okay so let's go play some more main floor okay remember there's different types of and I'm just looking at that you see they're not actually uh, centered they're a little bit offset okay let's let's see if we can fix that go back to here element properties uh, type I always forget to hit that and baluster placement now to get it centered what I want to do is um, base top bottom distance I think I need to put an offset in here of one minus one inch I think that's going to center that on the two inch railing that's what did it see there you go so now let's draw some more we all we have to do is click on here right click and say create similar create similar boom boom and then we have to finish because we can only do one segment at a time again right click create similar bink bink and finish pan over here right click create similar bink bink so the key there was we had to switch over to be pipe rail because that gave us the opportunity to um, configure and customize the baluster placement if you just use that entrance railing it's a different type of railing it doesn't let you actually uh, um, change those baluster placements so finish railing and you can load more railings that come with Revit so let's have a look in our 3d view there we go with our nice railing out on our front porch spin that around a little bit okay and we are ready I believe to start annotating and I thought I had put a footing on here uh, let's go maybe I deleted that um, let's go to our um, foundation and wall foundation and we can check our footing type by going in here okay continuous footing just pick on here adds in that little footing for us and we want it to extend a little bit outside of there maybe okay so let's pick on this footing uh, we have to hit escape to stop our footing detail let's click on this guy let's go see what properties we have inside of here okay is it an instance property okay I don't see anything there let's go into our type and let's look here toe length heel length default end extension length let's change that to be six inches that is when you have a freestanding footing that's just kind of open-ended you can add a little extension on the end of our footing okay that doesn't come into play with the house but it does come into play so there's our front railing and our um, porch foundation footing